Hey everyone, don't worry about all that on the ground. That's just like soda and stuff, but that's why I have mats. All done with the top for uh, my friend's comp book box that I built for him. So I'm gonna do like I normally do. I'm gonna show you what the top looks like, flat and all done. And then I'll show you when I fold it up and what it looks like folded up and put on top of the box. Uh, like a good friend of mine would say when I fold it up, fold up that bad boy. That's 64 page special. So let me show you what it looks like down and flat. I just finished it today. I, I feel happy about it. I think he's going to dig it. I went to doing the dot effect. Again, I did that like right in there on the fish. Uh, I did it on his helmet there as well. She, you know, I didn't want to saturate and just color it right in. I did a little bit of dots there, kind of make metal. Did the same with the skin right there, kind of stuff. And on these fishes over here. So that way, when you get a little bit further away, you can still kind of see the dots, but it looks full. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it should draw your eye. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is why it's all done. All the color and everything. Hope he digs it. Um, you know, I had I used uh, my like watercolor ink pens to do the background, and a little bit here and there on the on the actual characters themselves. But I really wanted to do it in the background because it's a little bit softer tone of color, and I can blend it real easy, rather than I can my sharpies. Uh, the sharpies is just you know like this lines. But I think I think you know sometimes it adds depth to the picture, kind of makes it look like it's moving. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm hoping he does. I don't have too many Aquaman books, so I can't I can't really keep this one. If I had a bunch of Aquaman books, I'd be like, okay, well, if he doesn't like it, I can keep it. But I don't have any Aquaman books. Well, I have a few. Not a lot, just a few. So let me pause this real quick and show you it looks like folded up. All right, well, I'll show you what the box looks like again. This is what the inside looks like. Um, I modified his a little bit different. Didn't have to put any blue tape down here because I've actually cut the bottom to a perfect size. Um, that way it would fit in there. Because uh, I've made some where this would be back from the from there for a little bit and it would make the, book block, um, make the book drop down in there. So I'd have to put the blue tape, which is fine. This one, no, it came out good. Um, I'm actually happy because every time I build these boxes, I seem to do like better than the last time. And I made this a little bit stronger, hold it better, hopefully. But yeah, these things can hold up to 135 books on either side comfortably. So uh, without further ado, folded the bad boy up, put it on. And I was afraid I was going to lose a lot of the art, uh, especially when I folded it. But as you can see, didn't really lose anything there. That thing was already like that. But I thought right here when it folded, I would lose what was there, but look, that mesh is pretty good, right? And then uh, coming over here, I thought I, I thought this looked terrible, but actually, let me get it light. That doesn't look too bad, you know. I mean, it still meshes pretty nicely, even though like half of it is folded up in there, it still looks pretty good. Let's see it on the side. You now the top, I didn't color. You know what? It's all good. Because I think what you're mostly going to be looking at is this. So that's what you're going to see. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the box. Hopefully he digs it. So like I said, if not, <laughs> I don't have too many Aquaman books. really can't <laughs> use this box. I mean, <laughs> you know, I use the box just to put the lid up as art. But uh, man, this was a lot of fun. Um, I actually do enjoy building these boxes. And now that I know I can get some pretty decent art on there, I'm stoked. Yeah, see right there, see the dots? It's a whole bunch of different colors I was using there to give it a flesh tone color. When you stand back from a distance like this, it looks like it's all colored in. To me, it does. I don't know if it does for you out there in YouTube land. But uh, yeah, I hope my friend digs this and give it to him most likely on Wednesday. All right, it's that comic saying rock on. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, yeah, do art, do smart, man. I want to see it.